We passed upon the stairs The spoken was well Although I wasn't there You said I was his friend Or his came as a surprise I spoke into his eyes I thought you died alone A long, long time Hey everyone, Andy here. Today we're going to talk about a song covered by Nirvana, originally by David Bowie. It's a song called The Man Who Sold the World. All right, so we're going to work on the Nirvana uh, cover version of The Man Who Sold the World in this video. It's actually not in standard tuning, it's a half step lower, but we are in standard tuning. So just to save time from tuning it down to half step, uh, we'll just use the standard tuning, okay? So for this tuning, we're going to use the key of F. Okay, the intro, as you saw earlier, is a guitar riff. It goes like this. You do that twice, okay? So you see the tablature here. You have two second frets, uh, three second frets. One, two, three, and then zero. And then hammer on two, three, two, and pull off. And then zero. That's all on the G string, okay? So it sounds like this. And just repeat that pattern, okay? Twice. So as you play it again, the third time, the D minor chord will come in. Right. And then F. And then D minor. It pauses on D minor. Now if you want to play the guitar solo and the rhythm at the same time, like I do when I, when I perform it live as a solo acoustic player, I do this. So as I, when I play that, I play a D minor chord at the end of the riff and continue using my first and second finger. See, so D minor. Then we went F, this F here. Okay, I use my thumb for the bass F, but I, I kind of mute the A string, or sometimes I let it go, I just let it play since it's part of F, so that's fine. Now with this shape, I can still continue with the guitar one. I use my pinky to hammer on pull off, do that here, okay, so it sounds like this. And then I play a D minor, like that, okay. So the strumming is still the same. I just emphasize the like this. So up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so it's like a hybrid plucking, strumming, emphasizing that third string. D minor. And then the verse comes in on A. We passed upon the stage. I do an A7. I feel like I hear an A7 there. Well, you can use an A. Spoken was D minor. Back to A. Saddle was F. Voice came as C. You can use an open C or this C. minor a long long time back to C okay if you're curious about that progression 
happens on C. Okay, so C D E F G A B flat C. Okay. Oh no, not me. And then you do that on F. F G A B flat C D E F. Okay, you're still following that. And after that, you play C sharp major. Okay, so oh no, uh, not me. Never lost control. Your face to face. We're now the sound of world. A again all right so once you completed a second verse there's another chorus on that, that part okay so after completing that you go back there's another intro uh, A and D minor but after this it goes back to the chorus so the intro B F again D minor okay but after that uh, the guitar solo part you play it on the ninth fret G string the rhythm actually is A A major so if you want to play it, uh, uh, if you want to play it as a solo guitar player, you actually don't play it here. You just play an open string a E. So from here, same thing. Then back to D minor. And then next one is goes here on the tenth fret G string, but uh, it's an F, an F this time, not A, okay? So you can play that 10th fret with the chords F. This one here, it's the same. So you play F. And does this. All right, going to D minor. So you just play an F. So I can't play the E minor chord. Passing chord going to D minor. So the effect is. Same thing. Then an A. Then repeat the D minor. A again, emphasizing this E note, then B minor again, then F. There you go. So I hope this helps you out in your guitar journey and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.